Okay, so I wanted to show how these actually move and why they scale, why our axis is scale, and how they eliminate lashing almost completely. It's because we use this herringbone gear system, these racks. So if the motor shaft moves, it's locked into those teeth. And there's no way to, there's no way for it to, to skip in any direction because of anything. It's locked in by these rails on the bottom, then by the width. So there's no way that the tooth, that the teeth can jump over or anything like that. Um, it's, it runs really smooth. And also really quick. It's a little bit noisy right now only because it's not actually connected. But here's where you can see how it connects is with these long slots and they have um, they have a bow tie that slides down those slots and locks those together flat. And the way that it scales is right here we have that bevel and on the back we have the bevel. So if you want another piece stick them together and there's almost no no difference in the rail and since the teeth are going to grab teeth and it's herringbone you're never having a seam in a line your seam is spread out over about a quarter of a full rotation of the shaft of the motor so that makes it so that there is no real seam and it makes it so that you don't notice any kind of artifacting or anything like that when you scale it up. Because you can just keep putting those, you know, that doubles that length. You could put another one, triple the length. And since it's like this, there's no belts that you need to extend or anything like that. You just have to make sure that your cables are long enough, which we should have modular cables so that you'll be able to uh, get longer cables if you need to make it extremely long and you need more than this much wire. Uh, yeah, and these are also how the uh, slots stay together. So this keeps it from going side to side and Wrote, or pulling apart, these stop it from rotating and going side to side. So when you have those in with each other in all four directions, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, so it's eight, eight pieces holding every single one of these joints together. And that's how we eliminate any kind of lashing. So the printer's actually on its side right now. And that's, that's how that looks. And then again, if you wanted to make it bigger in this direction, you just put another one on and it just makes it bigger. And then our metal core. So if you make it extremely big and to the point where 30 millimeter thick plastic beams just aren't cutting it, which they're pretty rigid, if that just isn't cutting it anymore because you're flexing them because you're so big, I think you'd have to be about two, maybe three feet wide in order to get to that point, you can reinforce it with the metal core but we won't be sending them with the metal core by default because it's just unnecessary weight and it's, it's not needed. But you can see these motors, even when held up here, 
they hold solid, they're tight, that means that they aren't gonna, they aren't gonna have any give in the, in the actual prints themselves. So you can see there's that slot. And these, in order to reinforce it, can go down in here. And if this nut wasn't here, they go down the side. And this is an old one, old prototype. Lots of different pieces from lots of different printers, lots of different times, different materials. So that's why you see some of this that doesn't look so good. Most of it is now looking more like this piece where it's very solid, looks really good, has no, no issues with delamination, warping or anything like that. We've changed how we're printing them, the orientations and everything like that. So I'm making that chattery noise because I'm forcing the motors. And yeah, so this is where your x-axis, these are the y-axis motors, your x-axis goes right between those. Like that. I'm just printing right now a, a new one of these that uh, looks a little bit better and is this version. The one that I had here previously was the older version that still works, it just doesn't look the same. But that goes right there and then you'll have an axis that goes in that. That's what this motor is for. And this holds your hot end. So that's how the hot end mounts. It has one screw and then it quick disconnects. So you can flex the plastic up at the top to uh, to take apart. So it slides in with these two and clips up at the top. And that's how, that's how all those axes work right now. Um, that's the X, the Y, the Z 